medieplan. Hvorfor kan jeg ikke det, din spade? Du er så bedre, kammertonen. Altså, totalt kan de der gode til at kombinere landstækkende tv med programsponsorat, tekst-tv og tv2.dk. Men du synes måske bare, jeg står og bræger. Nå, nå. Tallene er altså gode nok. Over 50 procent. Ja, ja, du kan selv være for. TV2, vi ses. When the sun goes down, the stars come out, and tonight they're shining on the World Poker Tour. Six stars have descended on a Hollywood soundstage to fulfill the ultimate poker fantasy. A night on the World Poker Tour. Cameron Mannheim. Ow! Lou Diamond Phillips. I hear Cameron's tough. Norm MacDonald. If I'm not first out, I'll probably be last man standing. Fred Willard. I think Norm MacDonald will have the best hand right up to the end and then do something silly to blow it. Lolita Davidovich. I think I'm most afraid of myself. <laughs> Richard Karn. Hi, I'm Richard Karn. This is the World Poker Channel. <laughs> it is now. Let the chips fall where they may tonight on the World Poker Tour. Hi, everyone. Welcome to the World Poker Tour. I'm Mike Sexton. And I'm Vince Van Patten. And this is the Hollywood Home Game Edition of the World Poker Tour. Now, Mike, not only are these players playing for the Hollywood Home Game title, very, very important, but in addition, the winner will get a $25,000 guaranteed seat at the WPT Championship at the end of the season, and that is potentially worth millions of dollars. Well, you're right, Vince, but they're also playing for charity tonight. The World Poker Tour is donating $25,000 to their favorite charities. Right. The amount each charity gets depends on how well the celebrity plays. Well, this is going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be great. Let's go to the table. Let's do it. All right. Matt Savage is our tournament director for tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, let's shuffle up and deal. And let's talk about the Hollywood home game shuffling. Right now, we have a professional dealer. Actually, she's a professional player, Evelyn Ng. She's going to be the shuffler. She's going to shuffle the deck, and then, like in any home game, the players themselves are going to be dealing. So Evelyn's now passing the deal to the cards to Lolita Davidovich, who's dealing right now. Here we go, Mike. The action's going to be on Cameron Mannheim to start. Now, what is really exciting here on the World Poker Tour is getting to see these players' cards. It's the WPT cams that make this the ultimate spectator sport. She's going out with a jack nine. Six to call. Yes. Lou Diamond has picked up the mother of all hands. Pair of aces on the first hand. Hand one. He's picked up two aces right on the get-go. Amazing. The race is 12,000 total. No, I'm quickly going out. <laughs> He's got at least a pair. Mike, look at this. Lolita has picked up a pair of eights. Yeah, it's a nice hand. She calls the 12,000. 9,000 to call, Richard. Richard Karn has also picked up a pair of vents. He's got two tens. He's got 3,000 in the pot. I can't believe there's three wired pairs in the first hand. And he calls the 12,000. I need to call. Fred Willard's got a 6-7 suited connector of diamonds. I'm in. Cost him six more thousand, so he calls. So we get four-way action right here on hand one, Vince. So here comes the flop. And flop the flop is, is eight, six, six deuce. deuce. Look at this, a bingo here for Lolita right on hand one. She has flopped the top set. Check. Check. Fred checked. So Richard checked, and Fred checked. 30,000. Here comes Lou with his two aces. He bets 30,000. Three more reds. What are these? Oh, five. That's right. 30,000 bets from... And Lolita must be thinking she's seeing things with that three of a kind. Are you awake? <laughs> Already. Six chips over. Six, Six. chips. She's just calling, Vince. Oh, she's doing a slow play here, just doing a call. And now Richard has a pair of tens. He's got an over pair, as we say. In other words, no card on the board is higher than a ten. So it looks like a pretty strong hand to him right now at this point. Well, two can play that game. A lot of pros would actually re-raise at this point with the overpair, with the tens. Let's see how Richard's going to play this. Uh-oh. A lot of 
red there. Interesting. He's going to play it slow. He's just calling. Uh, 30,000. Folks, we Six could be headed for some real fireworks right here on hand one. Look at these hands these players have here. Fred has got the pair of sixes over there. He may think he's want to still get involved, and he does. Well, he's calling also. We're going to have four-way action here, Vince. Fourth Street coming up. Lolita's going to deal. Deuce of clubs. And the board pairs deuces. Oh. That gives Lolita a full house. Eight's full of deuces. But remember, Richard has tens up. Check. Lou has Check. aces up. Incredible. Check the break. I'll bet. Oh, no. Fred's doing it. He's <laughs> going to bet. 20,000. Now, Fred, with the worst hand, you know, is going to come out betting here. He's bet 20,000. Fred Willard. And look at the look on Lou's face right now. He's going, wait a second, did this guy hit three deuces on me? I well, mean, this is like a sucker punch for him. Well, that's what he's wondering about. Now, he knows the guy's in the blind, so it is possible, but he did yeah. call a raise before the flop, so you wouldn't necessarily put him on a deuce. Hey, these are celebrities. Anything's possible here. Well, he's getting out some raisin chips, it looks like to me, Vance, and I don't blame him at all. Little does he know, the person sitting behind him at the top full house. Raise your 50. That makes it 70,000 total. He is going to raise it. 70,000, he's raised it. Yeah. Now, lady's looking at a full house, Mike. She's putting her acting face on here, Vance, like she's just sort of disgruntled, like she doesn't know what she's got. You know, like what to do here. She has the top full house here, Vince. Seventy. Now look at this. She's just gonna call. Yes, she is. Now what a lay down by Richard there. Give him credit. He threw those two tens away. Not gonna blast these guys out of this moment. Very interesting play. Is this right? Now here comes Fred with his two sixes. She's He's drawing completely dead in this hand. But the interesting thing is she's getting extra action for Fred being in the pot. Yeah. 50. Fred falls. Hope this pays off. Very interesting the way she's just calling and playing this hand to suck them all in here. And here he comes. <laughs> this is a sign of how it's going to be all night. I can't stand it. Oh. Four spades is the last card. It's the four spade. Now that puts three spades on the board. Which might frighten Lou a little bit, because yeah. someone could have a flush here. Check. Check. Check to Lou. Check. Checks. Lou checks his two aces. He does. Now it's up to Lolita. Check. And Lolita check. checks on the end with the top full house. Aces, aces. aces up. Oh, Lou. Obviously, she missed a major bet there. I love this game. Uh, <laughs> and why not? I shouldn't have checked. I know I shouldn't have checked. Well, she loves the game, but it's obvious to me, Vince, that she hasn't played much poker. I mean, you have to bet the top full house when you're the last person to act after the last card's been dealt. Nevertheless, it is a big pot. It's very interesting in all our times on World Poker Tour. I've never seen a first hand like that. Well, Vince, before we get too far along, for those of you who are new to the game, it's really pretty simple to learn. The name of the game? The name of the game? Is No Limit, No Limit. No Limit, No Limit, Rhode Island. No Limit, Texas Hold'em. Texas Hold'em. I'm married to a Texan, so I know what that means. The Cadillac of Poker. It takes a minute to learn and a lifetime to master. To start, the players ante up and are dealt two cards face down. These down cards are called hole cards or pocket cards. Right. Then five community cards are placed face up on the table. Now you combine your two hole cards with the community cards to make the best five card poker hand. The two players to the left of the dealer button have force bets called blinds. The blinds ensure there's action and money in the pot on every hand. Once you get your first two down cards, you make a bet. After the first round of betting, three community cards called the flop are dealt face up. This sets off another round of betting. Then the fourth card is dealt. It's called the turn card or fourth street. Then there's another round of betting. The fifth and final card called the river or fifth street is dealt which leads to the final round of betting. After that, whoever is left in the hand turns the cards over to see who wins. I love this game! Here we go, and the dealer this time will be Richard Karn. Well, we've got a moment, Vince. We'll point out, you see the red card sitting on the table there in front of the players? Those are what we call a cry for help card. At some point in this tournament, any player can call 
for our two professionals in the back, Daniel Negrano and Jennifer Harmon, to come out and assist them with a decision they have to make. You get to do that one time in this tournament. That is correct. Let's see what we've got here. Right now, it's going to be on Lou Diamond, who picked up a big hand. Also, Call. Ace King. Call 6,000. Another monster hand for Lou Diamond Phillips. Norm has gone out with a queen seven. And notice Lolita called the bet with a queen seven offsuit, so she's playing the same hand that Norm folded. And six. And Richard Carnes got an A6 of hearts, and he's going to go up. Yeah, he's raising it. Makes it 12,000 to go here. Okay. 9,000, Fred. I'm out. <coughs> I'm out. <laughs> Cameron Fultz. Nine to me. 6,000 more. Now we're back to Lou. I'll re-raise six. Lou's re-raising it. He's making it 18,000 to go now. Well, he's doing the right thing. Did a little trap. I don't know what a quite raised enough, but he's going up. How did that happen? It's he raised, he re-raised. Okay. Here's Lolita, who has all those chips in the first pot. Looks like she's going to call the double raise here, and she does. Well, she's going to splash around with the queen seven. Now it's back on Richard. And he calls the raise. So here we go. Three-way action. Down Here comes the flop. The flop is 10, 8, 5. The flop is 10, 8, 5 with two hearts. Well, that's made Richard Checks. 4 to the flush. No help for Lou's ace king. He checks. Lolita checks. Now Richard in position with the nut flush draw, as we say, the best flush draw you can have. Will he better? Will he take a free card? Well, he's winding up. He looks like he's going to do something here. He bets 10,000, Vince. 10,000. Mere 10. 10 I like the bet, though. <laughs> Even though I think it should have been a little more, but I like him betting in that spot, sitting on the end with another flush draw. Call. And Lou's not going to shake away. No. He's going to call this. Now, because of the WPT cams, we see Lou has the best hand with an ace-king. He's against an ace-six. Fourth card coming up. Will Richie catch the flush? No, not yet. A nine comes off. Lose first. Does give him an inside straight draw, too. Lou checks. Now, oh, I like this. Look at this. Richard, with no hesitation, is coming out. 15,000. Yeah, he's betting 15,000, Vince. Something now, that's a difficult <laughs> call for Lou to make. Lay down. And he's showing his ace king. Yeah, he's folding he's here. You folded, Lou? Yep. Okay. Very nice bet by Richard on 4th Street there to earn that pot, Vince. We'll be right back with more Hollywood home game action on the World Poker Tour. My idea I had at one point, and I tried it. Every hand I would get, I would go, I have an excellent hand. Really annoyed the table. But just with full exuberance, you say, I have an excellent hand again. And they, it's almost impossible to see through it. As long as you say it at full volume. It erases all tells. Welcome back. I'm Mike Sexton. And I'm Vince Van Patten. And this is the World Poker Tour's Hollywood home game. Now Fred Willard is dealing. Yes. Looks like he's he dealing in the daycare center. Get out! <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if it's going to be on. Norm yes, McDonald first to act. He's got a queen deuce this time. Norm's not going to call it. Toledo <laughs> looking very happy. I fold. And she folds a 5 4 offsuit. Richard Kern this time has Jack 7 of spades. Oh. Richard opts to fold. How come we got to see the. Because uh... it kind of came up when it was getting dealt. She didn't want to say whose fault it was. Thank you. Uh, oh, it's my turn. I will check. You have to call the Oh, I didn't know there was six. Or okay. not. You don't have to call yeah. it, Fred. Now, Fred says he checked, yeah, no, but he has to call the size of the big blind if he wants to play as a queen eight off suit here, and he is going to call. Cameron's got queen five. My fault. Nice decision. Now we're back to Lou, who's in the big blind. He has ace high here. I'll raise ten. And he's going to raise it. And you wonder if he's steaming from the first two beats he took on the first two hands. Now, what do I have to um, call, huh? Here's where i got to learn. One down. One. we got two-way action, ace-eight versus ace-jack. Let's see the flop. 
Nine five three helps neither player. Yeah. Check. He checks on the flop though. He's going to slow down. Gives the green light to Fred. Check. But he's going to check also. Yes, he does. So here comes the next card. It's a six of hearts. Doesn't help either player. Mm -hmm. Actually makes a straight draw. Gives them both an inside straight draw, but Lou has the best hand with ace high. 20. And he's going to bet here, Vince. Bet's 20,000. I know you got nothing, but I know your nothing beats me, so I'm going to drop out. My nothing did beat you. Huh? He just about hit the nail right on the head there, didn't he, Vince? Yeah. Well, nice lay down, Fred. I could sense it. And good bet by Lou. Well, the third time's a charm for Lou Diamond Phillips as he takes down the pot with a nice bet on the turn. I think I've only really become a poker animal, you know, in the last year and a half or so. I literally lay in bed at night playing hands on my head. Okay, let me see. I got pocket aces, which, you know, might get busted. Now, let's see the flop comes, and then I go all in. You know, it's, it's terrible. I have twins, so I have to play for two of them. Uh, it is uh, uh, Santa Susana Montessori School and Sierra Canyon uh, School. I mean, it's sort of amazing to, to see how advanced these kids are when I compare them to my own childhood. <laughs> yeah. so I was planning on playing really, really tight and not putting any moves on anybody, uh, just, just really trying to play a solid game. Uh, but now, you know, knowing that Cameron's playing, Norm McDonald, you know, Lolita, some people who I know know how to play, so I think there's going to be a little more strategy. Who knows? We'll see. Round we go. This time it's going to be Cameron. Mannheim is going to deal this one. And she's going to get up and show her dealing expertise. This is actually a very nice style by Cameron. She looks yeah. like a professional dealer here. She looks like she's dealt some cards before to me. The action is going to be on Lolita. Lolita has a 9-4 offsuit. Can I check? San Francisco, 49er. Well, four, four. I'm folding. Very dramatically, too. I will join you. Richard folds. Well, uh, I bet together our, our hands would be nothing. <laughs> On Fred Willard. Call. And he's just going to call it. Yes, he does. Cameron is out. Yeah. Option Option Norm. Right. Lou's called with a queen deuce of clubs. Now we're back around to Norm. Now, Norm has picked up ace high. He's got ace three of hearts. Who's up? The option's on Norm. He wants to raise. He's in the big blind, so he has an option to raise. He's doing so, Vince. 26,000. Raises at 20,000. Well, everybody limped in. He thought ace high was the best hand. He raised with it. My math is right. And Fred's called him. Is the pot right? No. Not yet. Time. Lou is contemplating. And he lays down his queen deuce of clubs. So here we go. We got a battle between Norm and Fred. We got ace three against ace jack. Here comes the flop. Flop is 10 8 6. No help to either player. Norm will be the first to act here. Check. And he checks. Um, 10. Tell you one thing, Norm McDonald really looks like a professional poker player. Well, he does. Look at him. He's got the hat, the glasses, the gear, the attitude. How much you got, Fred? Hmm? Count him out. He's also asking him how much you got, and that is a professional's question. 30, 40, 50. Oh. Usually, sometimes players like to ask how much you got because they want to find out a tell. We've only played three hands, man. He knows how much he's got. He's just toying <laughs> with him here. In the meantime, it's 10,000 to him. He, he wants to nail me to the wall. I'll go outside and have a Coke. I don't care. My, uh, <laughs> I'll watch the rest of it on closed circuit television if you want to knock me out of this game. If you're a gentleman. <laughs> Norm would not bluff me, I don't think. And look at this. You get Norm to call. Norm has called him now. Yes, he did. A deuce. Fourth Street comes up. Deuce. No help. Check. Check the Fred. So if I check, we have to show our cards, right? Oh, yeah, there's one more card. Oh! So I just put on a Mr. Magoo routine. <laughs> I didn't know math would be my weak point in this game. Um, <laughs> now, can it really be this yeah. clueless, or is it some type of uh, he said play I... here? Well, look, uh, 10. 10,000. And now mm -hmm. he's going to bet it. Yeah, he was winding him up there a little bit, Vance, I believe. He bet 10,000. 
I think he's a lot smarter than he's putting on. Uh -huh. Norm here who only has ace high. Come on. He calls again. Well, he reads him right. Fred is not that strong. He's got to call it. Last card coming up. So an eight comes in. All in. All in, Norm quickly says as soon as the river card comes. Strong play. And look at Fred. What is going on now? I am just pretending here because I'm going to jump out so hard you won't know what hit you. He said he's going to jump out fast. What a bold all-in bet right there. Can we peek? By Norm MacDonald. Can we peek? <laughs> to take that pot away from Fred Willard. Hey, that is a pro play right there by Norm. We'll be right back with more Hollywood home game action on the World Poker Tour. If one thing actors do like, it's having cameras turned on every angle of them. I requested one in the men's room, but they said, I don't think we'll get to that later. I might have gone a step too far, but Norm MacDonald agreed with me. Said, That's a great idea. Well, let's talk about the price of poker has gone up, Mike. Yes, it has. The blinds are now five and 10,000. 10,000. Fred Willett's wife is an excellent poker player. And I believe the producers have agreed that Mary should help Fred. This is basically a mercy red card. <laughs> Action is going to be on Cameron. Playing solid poker, picks up a nine, three of spades. And she's going to play Vance in first position. Fultz. Lou's going out. Norm with a nine, seven. Contemplating. This guy has patience also. He folds. Lolita folds. Lolita out with the 7 4. Now here comes Richard with ace high. And he's going to call with the old kids' game, Acey Ducey. Well, it cost him five more thousand. He's well, in the small race. blind. I'll, I'll check. Mr. Berman? Yep. Comes a flop. 10 9 4 with two spades. A nice flop for Cameron. She has two nines and a spade flush draw. Yes, she does. Action is going to be on Richard, however. In the meantime, Fred Willard, talking with Mary, has the inside straight draw. What's Richard going to do here? Well, he's going to bet, it looks like. 15, he does. He bets 15,000. 15, and and Fred does not hesitate. He's ah. going to call it with the inside straight draw. And I'll raise you 15. And a girl. She's going to pop it up here, Vance. Makes it 30,000. She has the best hand and the best draw, as we say. Richard gets out of the way. I try to get away with something. There, Fred. And here comes Fred, the low stack in the tournament, calling, trying to hit this gut Fred. shot straight. Fred. Angrily calling that. Here we go with four street. And a six comes off, giving Fred a pair of sixes now. Check or bet. He's going to yeah, check because Cameron is in front, and she's going to bet it once again. Yeah, she bets 15000 Now That's a relatively small bet since there's over 110000 in the pot. Well, you've got to like her hand, though. She's got a nice pair there and a flush draw. But you know what? Fred is well, not going to go away here. No, Mary told him to go for it here, Vince. Call that 15000 She sees he's getting big pot odds here. Yeah. And he's going to call it. Space. Last card coming up. Last card to come. Here's the river. Oh, a bingo for Fred. Three sixes it makes him. Look at Mary. She jumps out of her chair here. Is it to him? Yes. I got nothing. Oh, my God, Fred. <laughs> what? <laughs> all right, I'm going all in. He's doing it. She's He's bet 36,000 all in here. Sixes. Why not? Look at this. He can't contain his laughter. <laughs> I'm kind. Well, she's going to look him up. She's going to call oh. here with the two nines. Poor Cameron is going to hate this beat. Yeah. Are you in, Norm? Oh, I thought I had, yeah, I had nines. Nines and sixes. Well, I had three sixes. Of course. Well, of course. Good. You won it. I was acting, Norm. Fred Willard has hit Route 66 here to win this pot. Welcome back, Fred. I got nothing. Right now, Vince, our chip leader is Lolita Davidovich with about 600,000. Second place, Norm McDonald with about 290. What's this? Richard Karn in third with about 230. Lou Diamond Phillips with 180. Fred with about 160 now. And Cameron now, low woman on the totem pole here right now with about 46,000. 
Oh, that's She's going to deal this one, and quite a dealer at that. She's a very good dealer. She better deal herself a little help here right now. First act, Lolita. She's picked up a big hand, ace three of clubs. Um. Oh. She's going to play. She calls 10,000. Richard has a queen 10 off suit. Don't be stingy. Come on. <laughs> Give it up. Don't be stingy. Come on. She's inviting him in the pot. You got a lot of piles there. I do, don't I? Okay. It's 10 to me. Mm -hmm. your calls? Out. Fred and Mary team going out. 10. Cameron, calls. Cameron with a pair of sixes is just going to call it. I'm kind of surprised at that. Good? You can. Who calls your option, Norm? Any Lou's coming in. Norm's got Jack Nine offsuit. Wow, this gets hot. Huh? Correct. Gives him the backhand, says, Give us a flop. Here we go. Yep. No, you're in? No, oh, three cards up. Oh, yeah. Hi. Card. I wanted that queen to go up. Two cards. Queen. Five, king. You got king, queen, five on the flop, Mike. Yes, we do. Check. I bet 15. That's an inside straight draw for Norman. He's coming out and betting it. Yes, he is. I bet's 15,000. The leader has gone out. I want to use my card. Okay, the freshman's out here. Bring the cards. So she doesn't know if I'm here. Hold on, it's not oh, a little. Oh, oh, it's Richard's a great deal. Deal. Now, these are the two professional players. Daniel Negrano and Jennifer Harmon. With the king and the queen out there, and there's already a bet, mm -hmm. and, and a few players in the pot. Mm -hmm. There's no way your sixes are good. Your sixes are Okay. If, the, if, if, if there's a bet to you, just throw them away. They're both shaking their head no here, man. The only way you can win is if a six comes. There's only two left. You're better off And it's most likely somebody has a pair with that pot. So that's a definite fold. Yeah, you gotta throw it away. Shouldn't I just put all in? No, no you still have enough. You You're not dead have, yet. You, right, you can still have enough to play a couple more hands. This. This you've already, you've already right. beat. Okay. They're saying, you know, save your money, put it in a better spot than All this. Right. She doesn't have to take their advice, you know. They just give it. She can call or she can throw her cards away. Whatever she wants to do here. In the meantime, Richard, with the pair of queens, still has not decided. <laughs> it's the grin. It is. Looking around to see what advice they gave her first here. I sort of like that. Yeah, that's kind of confusing. Unbelievable, actually. <laughs> And he's going to call. Yes, he is. I'm folding. Cameron folds. Yeah. <laughs> and she does follow their advice. Uh, Jennifer That's gives up. her the thumbs up. Good job. It's on the, and it's heads up. Good advice it was, I might add. Here we go. You ready? And Cameron's going to deal fourth street. Now the ace of spade comes on the turn. But look how quickly Norm's betting this. He's continuing the bluff here. Yes, he is. He bets 15,000. Because of the WPT cam, we can see that Richard has the best hand with two queens, but there's two overcards out there, a frightening look, and he throws his hand away and give credit to Norm McDonald for earning that pot, as we say, Vince. He bet with the worst hand and picked up the pot because of his aggressive betting. Hey, this is a seasoned poker player, Norm McDonald, looking good. Uh, I started playing poker two years ago, and uh, poker, since you're not playing against the house, you have a, a chance of winning. I'm playing for the Hole in the Wall Gang, Paul Newman's uh, favorite charity. He has a, a charity called Hole in the Wall Gang for sick children. It's a beautiful summer camp. It's an absolutely nonprofit organization, which, uh, which is great. So all the money goes right to the kids. My first instinct was to play for the Palm Beach Tennis and Golf Club. I heard they needed some money. I feel I'm the player to beat, but I feel I have about a one in six chance of winning. We'll be right back with more Hollywood home game action right after this. Welcome back. I'm Mike Sexton. And I'm Vince Van Patten. And this is the World Poker Tour's Hollywood home game. You can't buy this much fun. <laughs> Look at these players, celebrities having a great time here today. Fred gets to have his wife. Fred gets to bring his wife to sweat him, and yet I'm not allowed to bring my boyfriend, Howard Lederer. Oh, well, McDonald wants to call on Howard Lederer to help him. 
Howard, for those that don't know, is a two-time World Poker Tour champion. Straight. I'm all in, you guys. Uh, by the way, to make things fair, Fred doesn't get the red card. He does get Mary, though. Back to the action. Lou folds his hand. Norm's going to look at a queen four offsuit. I won't challenge you. Not going to play. The lead is going out. Oh, you're all in. Good, good. Is it, it's to me. Yeah. And it's 16,000. And now we're around to Richard. He's got a pretty big hand. He's got ace 10. He's on the button, the most favorable position to be at in the poker table. Dean. And he's just going to call it. Now, Fred, he's got a seven in his hand. I just thought something. No, yeah. Yeah, there's 12,000 on the side. So Fred's going to call. Yes. Now, there is a small side pot, and Fred and Richard can continue to bet each other and build their own little pot. Cameron, however, can only win what's in that center pot on the left-hand side. Cameron, big pot. She's got a nice starting hand. Queen 10, she is all in. Let's see a flop. I'm going to give him my mojo. Uh, she's got a chance to more than triple up here. Queen three. She's hit a pair of queens. Yeah, flop is king, queen three. And Richard has flopped an ace-high straight draw here. And Fred with just the ace high. Now, he's making a mistake here. He's saying he's folding. He doesn't have to do that. He can just check it, of course. Correct. I check. Takes back his hand. I'll go 15. 15,000. I'm going to need another drink. And to take advantage of it, Richard's now betting 15,000 here. Uh, he's got an insight. Sensing weakness. <laughs> he bet 15,000. Now Fred is going to call 15,000. He tried to fold, and now he's calling 15,000. Here comes 4th Street. <laughs> now an 8 comes off. Uh, that doesn't help anyone at the table. Check. Fred is going to check. Oh, you're, you're all in. 50. And this time Richard's going to make a bigger bet, because now the side pot is much larger. What the hell could you have there? <laughs> You know, <coughs> if you have nothing that matches, that doesn't mean you win. <laughs> you might as well look here. I'm a, I'm a fold. And now he does fold. Side pot, <laughs> side pot is... Come on, Cameron. Now, can Reed's Cameron side hang side. in there? We're going to see a last card. She is all yeah. in. She's in front. Oh, she's got a dodge and ace or a Queen. jack. Can she do it? Cameron's Cameron in the lead. Cameron's Come the on. The last card, it's a deuce. Yes, yeah. she does. Cameron's oh, I'm in. Oh, that's great. Big smile. She has more than tripled up vents. Not bad, huh? I don't play for money, generally. I play for honor, because I think honor is more painful to lose. <laughs> you know, I'm wearing my glasses now because I'm trying to bluff, just so nobody can read my hand. I'm very competitive in everything I do, and I, I love to compete. You know, I always say I can't go to the gym and exercise unless I can beat somebody. So it has to be racquetball or it has to be tennis because I'm not going to get on a Stairmaster. There's no honor in that, right? The ACLU, the American Civil Liberties Union, is uh, an amazing organization that has been fighting for everybody's civil liberties. Freedom of speech, right to a fair trial, you name it, they're there for you. In my generation, we've grown up with all of these rights intact and we're in jeopardy of losing them. So. I want them to have the resources they need to make sure that all of the rights that I've enjoyed through my life are there for my son. Well, my goal is to not go out first. So I hope somebody gets really cocky and I would have folded and they go head to head and somebody's gone. That's my plan. The price of poker's gone up here now, Vince. It's now a $2,000 ante and blinds are eight and 16,000. I'm all right, let's play. Um... <laughs> Follow the queen? Old maid. The Old maid. Rainy day. Old Let's maid. have some fun. Fred Willard doing the dealing right now. And look at this. Yeah, putting a little uh, swisher on it there. And Norm's first. Action's going to be on Norm. Norm's looking at a 6 4. We'll pass. Now the leader has an ace five off suit. There's a tall stack of chips there. Hope nobody bumps the table there, Vince. You're right about that. They'll all come tumbling out. down. Who's going to call? On to Richard. Richard Carn with a lousy hand, 10-5, he folds. And Mr. Fun is going out with a four deuce. 
Cameron Fultz, option on Lou. Run him. Heads up. Lou has a king, queen, of spade, and a big blind and opted to check, and the hair's a flop. One, two, and lucky three. Ten, six, three. With two diamonds. Two diamonds. Lou diamonds. And we got a pot between Lou and Lolita. And so far, he hasn't fared too well against her tonight. And that's putting him mildly. Check. He checks. Lolita. Check. And she checks. Check. We'll see the next card. It's a five of diamonds. Now that gives Alita a pair and also the nut flush draw. She has the ace high flush draw. Lose first. Check. She checks. Check. Check, check. Check, check. Look at this. They're both going to check once again. Yes, Lou checks and she checks right behind him. Last card going to come up. Those are some. Great and that cards. also is no help for either player. Check Lou. Lou has just king high. Will he take a stab at a bluff? 20. 20,000. She just goes right to her tall stack, doesn't hesitate, calls him, looks him up. She's going to beat him another pot, Vince, and his nightmare continues. That'll work. Especially against Lolita. Oh, it definitely does. Poor Lou. <laughs> He's trying to mask that pain with a smile there. <laughs> yeah. I don't blame him. Lolita is tough today. She is the chip leader. I'm not a real poker faced individual. The way I play, usually I have no idea how I will tonight because this is a very heightened scenario. Normally there's great, I play with great drama. <laughs> we'll see tonight. Heifer International is, uh, it's one charity where you know what your money is actually doing. You buy a cow for $500, or you buy a goat for $120, and you know what village it's going to, where in the world, how it's going to help the family and our community. And the other is the motion picture and television fund. So people who are less fortunate because they're aging, or their health, or, um, they got to be taken care of. And there are so many great, great charities, and really that's the reason to come out today. You're watching the World Poker Tour. We'll be right back. The real poker players are playing in their head and they're bluffing. And I think actors are playing from their heart. There's tells all over the place when I play with celebrities. I don't often know how to read them, but I know they're there. You might think actors would be great bluffers, but I have a feeling you're going to see a lot in their faces that they don't even know they're showing, including myself. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody can win the best hand. So it's about making moves and when to make them and how to bet. And also, I mean, uh, in my case, it's when, you know, to let go of a hand. I think the lesson in the long run is to stay alive. That's difficult. It's not about that one hand sometimes. It's about staying in eight hours later. Welcome back. We are watching the Hollywood home game edition of the World Poker Tour. And Vince, we are seeing some surprising poker here tonight. Back in the action, Norm MacDonald dealing. Action's going to be on Fred. Fred and Mary show continues. This time he's got a horrible hand, a 9-3. Uh, Cameron smiling, but going out with a 7-4. Here comes Lou with the ace high. He's got ace five. And he's calling it. On after rest. Look at this. Norm is raising Norm the pot, Vince, raise. with a king-10 offsuit. Well, he's in a great position. He's on the button, and he is raising. 20. Raises 20,000. 36,000 total. You're in for 8,000. He's going to go out with a queen deuce. 20,000 a pot. And here comes Richard. He's got ace-six of diamonds in the big blind. Richard calls. Richard calls. He's going to call, Vince. Back to Lou. Lou, what do you do? An ace five offsuit doesn't look that attractive when the pot's been raised and called. 
Lou passes. We're heads up here now. Heads up. She's gonna go out. We're gonna see a flop. Nice lay down by Lou there. Richard's first act. Was a good ball. Comes up Jack 8-8, eight, eight, Mike. Jack 8-8. Eight, eight. Jack 8-8. Eight, eight. No help for either players, but look at this. Richard is going to lead out and bet into the Razor. 50,000. This is virtually a bluff. He's bet 50,000. Well, it's not a bluff because he has the best hand, but it's still a strong bet to make when a man has raised the pot behind you. It's just Norm and Richard? Norm chewing on his glasses. But Norm raised before the flop to bet into him very strong. Norm folds. And he throws Richard his hand away. Five. A frustration on Norm's part there. I think he had it, Norm. I don't know. I mean, Richard took the play away from him there. He bet before he gave Norm a chance to bet there in that pot. Norm had to give it up. That is a nice play, a professional play by Richard Kern. It really comes down to position, you know, especially in this game because it's uh, as as the blinds go up, it gets more expensive, and you either have to be in there or you're going to lose a thousand dollars anyway. I'm playing for the Overlake Hospital Cancer Research. My mom had cancer back in the early 80s, late 70s, and passed away from it. The hospital that she was getting her treatments with, I'm playing for that hospital. I'm not going to play reckless. I don't want to go out right away. You know, I'm not all in with a, you know, a 3-5 in suit. So uh, <laughs> I'm going to hold back and see, see what the table's doing a little bit. And then I'll just kind of like work my way to the top and all the chips. Right now, the show is going to be on Cameron and Lou Diamond Phillips because they are the two short stacks. And they are virtually more or less desperate here to get in there and win a pot very soon or they're going to be out of here. On Lou, he's looking a little down right now. He's got three five of clubs. Not going to call. And Norm's got jack nine. What is it? 16,000. I call. 16, He's going to call. He's going to play a little bit. She goes to her tall stack. She very delicately calls, calls a jack six of hearts. Richard, Richard throws his hand away. Now he had ace high and threw it away. Come on, everyone. Let's get in the game. Let's make it interesting. And Fred Willard, who has queen seven. I'll check. Jack. Four players. One down. His flop. Flop comes six, four, three of spades. All spades. Check. So Fred checks. I'll check. Cameron checks. 20. And they gave the green light to Norm, who's going to bet this. He has the jack of spades. He does have a flush draw. Lolita has flopped the top pair of two sixes, so she calls. <coughs> 20,000 to Fred. Oh, Fred with a desperate inside straight draw. He's going to hang around. Huh? I have $6,000. 6, I'm all in. This is it. And now Cameron calls. Now, sadly for her, she has a straight draw. But if a five comes up, right now Fred's going to have a larger straight than she does. And a jack comes off on the turn. Fred is a jack. This gives Lolita jacks and sixes. But it gives Norm top pair. He has jacks. All in. He moved all in. Yes, he did. Come on, let's have some fun, Lolita. <laughs> you want your red card? She's going to use her red card. All right, card. she's calling for the red card. And easy. now, Lolita has called for the red card here. Uh, How much do you have? Bum, bum, bum. Now she has two pair, the top two pair, jacks and sixes, but there is a possible straight and a possible flush on the board, so she's calling for the pros to give her some help here. Oh, here come the, uh, the professionals. Bring, Bring them over. Dun, 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 dun. They're good looking for Straight. <laughs> oh, my. This is really close. You have such a good hand. Um, but I'm nervous. It depends on what you want to do. Time. If you think it's the best hand, then you should call him and break it. The, the only reason you wouldn't want to do that is because he's got a lot of money. 
so if you lose it, you could be in real big jeopardy. I think, my personal opinion is, you do have the best hand. And what do you no think? listening, Norm. I think you've got the best hand, and I would call. No doubt there is a major decision for her to make. Well, it's a cruel decision because Norm just went in for 276000 And a flush draw. It's going to be really close, though. This could be a total disaster for two players if Lolita's hand should hold up. Critical decision right here for Lolita. Honey. Oh, I forgot this is How much? Approximately 270. Can you bring your 270? It looks like she's <laughs> going to do something here. What is it, Lolita? Norm, it could be me and you in the green room. I'm first out. I know that. Sounds like she's going to call because Cameron said, Norm, it could be me and you in the green room. <laughs> Look, she seems very happy, at least. One little pep talk with a couple pros makes your whole disposition change. We're not saying anything. 281. 281,000. Okay. She's done it. She has made the call. And I'm dealing this, puppy. And now it's back on Fred. Is it to me? Yes. I'm out. He's going to go out. Now this means Cameron's got a chance to win the pot now. If a five comes up that's not a spade, she can win now. Throw your cards up. I can't. I can't. You got the best hand. Jackson six is so far. Cameron. Norm disgusted when he sees the two pair. He gets up from the table. Now right now Norm is going to have to catch a nine or a spade, or he's going to be eliminated. Cameron is going to have to catch a five that's not a spade to win. Let's watch the last card come up. Oh. Can she hold them off? Yes, she does. It's the eight of clubs. She has taken out two at a time here, Vince. Oh, she has taken out two fine celebrities. Now, what happens when two players go out on the same pot? Whoever started the hand with more chips gets the higher finishing position. In this case, Cameron will be sixth. And Norm McDonald, his charity is the Hole in the Wall Gang, and they will get 2000 for Norm's effort here today. What did you think uh, she had? I thought she had folded. I was playing it for Fred. I made my move All too in. fast. Oh. So I was trying to get Fred out. <laughs> I didn't realize she was still in the hand. I didn't ever get any good hands. Hand. Did we? Because oh, I, mean, I, I never one. got any good hands. We're back in Hollywood, California for the World Poker Tour's Hollywood home game. And Lolita Davidovich has just dropped the curtain on Cameron Mannheim and Norm MacDonald. Lou Diamond Phillips started off the game with two great hands and a run of bad luck. His nightmare continues. That'll work. Richard Karn got bluffed out of a pot, but he's played it tight and stayed above the fray. Richard wins the pot. And Fred Willard was on his way out the door. I'm going to jump out so hard you won't know what hit you. But then along came Mary, who put him back in the game. You won it! Right now, Vince, our chip leader is Lolita Davidovich with 850,000 in chips. In second place is Richard Karn with about 300,000. Fred Willard has about 280,000. And Lou Diamond Phillips, the bottom of the totem pole right now. He's sitting on about 62,000 is all he has left. Back to the action. Lolita looks down at a four deuce this time. She folds. Richard has king high, king six. Richard folds. Now in this case, we only have one big blind in the pot, one blind, because Cameron would have had the small blind, but she got broke. So just one big blind by Lou here now. Fred calls. Option. Look at Fred. He has an awful hand, but he's adamant about playing it. It's a nine-deuce offsuit. No, I'm thinking. Now Lou has an ace three. Bottom. And he's going to let it go. They're going to call. We're going to see a flop. Look at this, Fred got lucky. He's hit a little piece of it. He's got the nines. Well, he's got the bottom pair is all. And the flop is Check. King, queen, nine. Lou checked. And Mary's up from her seat. Up it. Not a sterling hand. I'll bet. Uh, but he's going to bet him. 20. 20,000. He's bet 20,000. Fold. And he's going to get Lou to go out. Yeah, and Lou passes his hand. I think I've discovered that look, that, mm, oh, what's there? Oh, my goodness, what is that? Mm, 
top pair, please. <laughs> but next time you won't know if I'm... Well, we'll see. The Mary and Fred show, it continues. Give her credit, Vince. He's picked up over 300,000 since she's joined him here as a teammate. So uh, I'd say as a team, they're doing pretty good. Quiet on the set. Roll them. My wife is a big poker player, and she has poker games. I'll stop in to say hello to everyone. But then uh, she just taught me how to play this game, uh, Texas Hold'em. It seems like fun. I'm not quite sure I'm on top of it yet, but I'm, I'm here to do my best. I am playing for a children's hospital here in Los Angeles. They do wonderful work. Anytime anything concerns children, I have a soft spot in my heart for it. You don't want to see children not do well. This is a wonderful charity. I was afraid that tonight, in this game, I would be playing with uh, hardcore gamblers who would be outraged if I did the wrong thing. But it's just other celebrities who always act like they know what they're doing, but usually don't. I've found that over the years. And right now, we are seeing desperation on Lou Diamond Phillips' face because he is in for the blind, which cost him 24000 and all he has left after that is a $1,000 chip. Can he survive? And he's going to have to win this pot to continue on in this tournament. Richard Kahn dealing. And it's going to be on Miss Lucky Lolita to act first. Well, she looks down in a 4-3 offsuit. No, $24,000 to go. He's playing the bongo drums over there and folds. Nice lay down. And here comes Richard. Now Richard's holding a king eight here. And I like what he's doing here, Vince. It looks like he's going to raise this pot to try to shut Lou out right here. Can he do it? Plus 24. He raises he's a 48,000 total. Raise 48, and he's doing it. He's bet 48,000. 48, You're right. A nice strong raise. Richard. Fred doesn't have much of a hand. It's a 10-5. Fred folds. Take a dollar and pull that back. Well, this is a nice play by Richard because a king is a favorite over a two-card random hand. He knows that. He can't lose any more money in the pot. He's going to try to take Lou out right here. Can he do it? Yeah, I have no idea what I have. <laughs> King eight four. Fabulous. God, I'd have bet the farm on that. For Lou Diamond. So here we go. Let's see the flop. Here's the flop. Well, the flop is eight six five. So Richard's flop two eights. Lou's flop two sixes and a straight draw. Four five six eight. Give me a seven. So Lou's gonna have to have a seven, a six, or a four. Does Lou Diamond? Seven. Turn cards a ace. It's not going to be there on 4th Street, but there's four diamonds now. Right. There's a possibility of a split pot. If another diamond comes up, can Lou get lucky? Diamond for split. It's eight he doesn't. Lou's he's out of here, folks. Been eliminated. He's our fourth place oh. finish. Aww. It was lovely playing with you. Lou Diamond Phillips, the most experienced player probably at the table, has gone out in fourth place. You see, I'm your date and I'm leaving you early. Oh, look at this. He's a great sport and an excellent poker player. He is going to be out of here in fourth place. Lou, we're going to have to say goodbye, but Lou, I'm sure you'll be back in a big way. We'll be right back with more Hollywood home game action on the World Poker Tour. Welcome back to Hollywood, California on the World Poker Tour. It is the Hollywood home game, and we are down to three, Mike. We are down to three, Vince. Now let's see what player is going to open up the game the most here. Uh, action's on Richard here. He looks down an ace eight of hearts. Pretty nice hand in a three-handed game. Fifty thousand. Fifty thousand to go. Now it's going to be on Fred, who looks at an ace six of clubs, and Mary telling Fred what to do, saying, "Call it, call it." And he is doing that. Back around to Lolita. Our chip leader, she folds. Oh, uh-oh. Two players in the pot. Men's night. So here we go. A pot between Richard and Fred. It's A6 against Ace-8. Fred doing the deal, and here comes the flop. Flop comes up Jack-6, Trey. Well, so far, he's doing good dealing. He now has the best hand with two sixes. Check. Richard checks. Um... Let me, um, I'll bet, uh, let's see, what do we... Fred squints at the pot there, says he's going to bet. Uh, 20. Oh, and she grimaces in the back. 
Well, he bets 24,000. Maybe while she's grimacing, it's a pretty small bet. I'm sorry. Oh, I see. That's what I thought. Richard is not going to go away. He's going to quickly call it. Well, he calls because there's 130,000 in the pot. Here comes 4th Street. One. Oh, someone has a pair of jacks. A jack pairs the board that does not help Richard. Well, the action's on, Richard, and look at this. you got to love the spirit of this guy. He's going to come out and bet. Now, he's only bet 25,000. And right now, there's over 180,000 in the pot. Two, three, four, five. Huh? And this time, Mary's mumming up in the back. She's going to let Fred go off on his own here, looks like. Yeah. Oh, no, she couldn't contain herself. Um, before I... Oh, wait, sir, let me look at what I got. What... He said, let me look at what I got here. He's got the same pair of sixes he had a minute ago. Now, we know because we have the WPT cam that he's way out in front, but a look of mass confusion right. on Fred's face. I think he's wondering. Check. Yep, he's called. Right now, for Richard to win this pot, he's got to catch an eight. Or either bluff and make a big bet at the pot, and that's what it's come down to now. Okay. King comes on the end. Check. It's not going to help him. He's going to check this time. Yeah, I'll check. Fred and Fred oh. checks behind. And look at Mary. She's saying, what do you check that for? She wanted more money. <laughs> With an ace. And Fred Willard wins this pot. <laughs> you know, women, you can never give them enough money, man. You should know that by now. She's shaking her head in disgust. Well, I don't know why. I thought he played that hand pretty good. I do, too. Richard, you're the 12,000... Is there, is there a point at which we can elect to remove spouses? Who do I talk to about that? Yeah, now that we're down to three people? Hey, I'm ready to go bareback here. Come on, let's do it. Well, look at this. The natives are grumbling here. You're right, Ben's a little mutiny here at the table. Things are getting well, serious. Fred says he's, he's right. good on his own. Well, they want Fred one-on-one -on -one here. I like the idea that they eliminate the partner here because when you get down to three, it's pretty serious. There is some serious money at stake. It's that entry into the WPT championship, and there you're not allowed any assistance. You are going to have to play by yourself. All right, I'm dealing everyone in. So to get there, I think you should have to do that also. I was too good for them. I yeah, kicked you out. That's cold cold it. Out. That's cold you cold are blooded. good. <laughs> you are good. I'll be back on Fred, who looks this time. He's on the button. Is there a minimum I have to bet? Is the Queen 8 offsuit asking what the minimum is? Well, it's 24,000, Fred. You've got to call the size of the big blind. He does call it. Back on Lolita, who's picked up a big hand, ace 5 of spades. Well, she's in for half the bet already. And she calls the other half. Now look at this, Vince. In the big blind, Richard Carner's picked up two kings, a oh. powerful hand. It's a monster, and he's stacking it up. Very meticulously getting out more chips. He is going to raise it. 30. He's raised it 30,000. Raising 30, so I have to put... Oh, Fred, should never have left. They're leaving him alone to his own devices, and it's not pretty. <laughs> Oh, it's ugly. There should be a law against this type of thing. Fred Willard alone at a poker game. He's got to well, call this. He's calling the raise with the Queen 8 offsuit. Now it's 30,000 more to Lolita. She has Ace 5 suited. She certainly does. Hey, a nice lay down by Lolita there. Give her credit. That is kind of interesting. So here we go. We got a pot between Richard with two kings and Fred with a queen eight off suit. Oh yeah, I remember. Here comes a flop. A nine. And an wow, eight. flop comes ace nine eight all diamonds. Now what happens here is Richard has two kings with the king of diamonds. And Fred has picked up a little pair of eights, and he's got four diamonds. Unfortunately, he has the, only the queen of diamonds, possible flush. Well, Richard's going to stack it up, making a solid bet there. Bet yep, he bets 50,000. And Fred looks like he wants to get involved. Well, you can't blame Fred for calling here. He's got a pair of eights and a queen high flush draw. Little does he know he's dead both directions. One down, one up. 
Fourth card coming up. And Jack does not help Fred at all. It gives him a straight draw if a 10 comes off of there now. But if it's a 10 of diamonds, he'll lose. Check. Well, Richard check the two kings. Richard checks. 20. And here comes Fred. He's going to bet 24,000. Now, folks, there's 240,000 in the pot. So that is just a very small bet at this stage. Calls. Richard calls it. Well, maybe we'll protect him for the last card. Last card coming up. Well, the last card to come off is a king. Now, Richard is going to like that because he doesn't Turns know first. that Fred doesn't have an ace in his hand. So he has now made three kings. And I think he's going to love that card. Richard card, line it up. Well, it's 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, and 80. 80 so that's 80,000. Without even thinking, without hesitation, with the bottom pair, four over cards out there, here comes Fred stumbling in there for the $80,000 call. Richard wouldn't have complained. No. Close enough. Uh, he has called it, and he's going to not like this at all. He's got three kings. He rivered a set of kings. Well, I beat that, but I wanted to show it. I just let him have it. Let him have it if he's... I thought you had the flash. I thought you had the flash. Mary's not going to like it either, man. <laughs> Fred is going to be sent to the corner when he gets home, I can tell you, from calling that bet at the river. I thought you had the flash. Fred! Fred! In the meantime, Mary has just been seen filing for divorce downtown L.A., Oh, no. It did not it's not that well. bad, Vince. No, it's just a poker game here. Bring my car around. <laughs> just kidding around, of course. You know, it doesn't mean she won't send him to the corner when he gets home, but not divorce proceedings yet. Yeah, we'll just do that. The price of poker has gone up now. We're playing with a $5,000 ante, and blinds are twenty and 40000 Well, you're right, Mike. It is crunch time here at the Hollywood home game. Right, we're down to the final three here. The lead is going to deal this one. Dealer, she'll be first to act. Remember, there's a million and a half dollars in chips on the table. Lolita has a pretty poor hand. Eight chips to fold. Eight. Mm -hmm. She's going to fold. Now, Richard's got a king four off suit, and he's in. He called you. Do you have an option to raise? No, uh, no, no, I won't. We'll just check. Fred with the five four is in. Here comes a flop. The flop is Jack, Jack, five. Well, the flop is hit Parks. Jack, Jack, five. That's hit Fred Willard with Jackson Five's Motown. 20, right? The minimum is 40,000. Richard with just king high is going to make a bet here. The minimum, is, the minimum is 40,000. Well, I respect what he's doing. He has the sense to know that even if you have nothing, you got to bet it sometimes. But now Fred has a pair of fives out there. Fred calls. And Fred calls. So he's going to call. Fourth Street coming up. Turn card is a seven of clubs. So a seven comes off. That's no help to either player. Check. Let's see if Richard's going to continue. Check. Yeah. This time he checks it. So Fred. I'll check. Fred check. Checks. And Fred checks right behind him. Last card. Last card is a five. And look at this. Fred has hit his full boat. Yes, he has. He's made a full house. Jack. Yeah, Jack someone's got a pair. Check. Richard checks. Check to Fred Willard. And how, if I want to bet, what then what do I do? Oh, he's going to let Mr. Magoo act again. <laughs> uh, We've seen that before. We don't buy it anymore. He has a full house. He's going through a little routine here. How much do I bet? What do I have to do if I want to bet? Bring the car around. Bring the car around. <laughs> Even added the oh, line to it there. Reverse psychology. Well, that's going to work. He's got Richard calling 40 more thousand. With just a king high. Richard's going to be a little shocked when he sees this one. Shows it. He has uh, yep. a pair with a king kicker. Three fives. And he has a full house over here. Oh, oh do I have a full house? Five yeah. Full Three fives, a full house. Right, I forgot. Five. That was a great hand. Yeah, it was. It was. When I got that third five, I got. Mary's going to give him a little gold star back when he gets home now, put on his chart for the way he played that hand. I hope you and Richard. I'm the oh, only one who has a what? I am now a red card. I am now officially rooting for Fred. Fred has a red card. Yeah. Just based yeah. on the He says he doesn't need it. Just based on the insanity of just playing. <laughs> we'll be right back with more Hollywood home game action on the World Poker Tour.
Welcome back to the World Poker Tour. I'm Vince Van Patten. And I'm Mike Sexton, and we've got some outstanding poker going on here tonight. It's not bad. Let's go to the table. Well, Fred Willard with that full house. Takes in a nice little pot for himself. Got Richard to call with just a king high. Now look at the intensity of Richard here, you know. Fred's got one. He seems very serious about this match to me. He's not laughing and cutting up like the rest of them. Well, he's dealing here, and he's going to take a look. He's the first one to act. He's got queen nine this time. Me, and it's how much? Uh, 40,000 to call. He's on the button, in position, as we say. And 40. Oh! He raises it, makes it 80,000 to go here. So what do I have to do for 80? Oh, what do I have to do? You know what you have to do because you got a pair of tens in the hole. Keep things going. He's just calling though. Oh. My right. I notice Lolita folded her hand. She sort of changed gears here a little bit. Two way action. You gotta like that. Oh, look at this flop. Queen, oh. queen, three. Monster flop for Richard. He's hit three of a kind. Bingo, bango, bongo here for Richard. Forty. But if you're sitting in Fred's seat and you have a pair of tens, this looks like a pretty good flop for your hand. And he's betting here, and I don't blame him. Right into a trap here. And he's bet 40,000. Let's see if Richard slow plays or not. Uh, that's matching him? That's calling. And 40. And he's raising it. He's going to raise it 40,000 more. What has he got? So do I have to do another 40? 40,000. So it's 40 more thousand to him. A very nice small raise by Richard to trap him in there. Let's see the next card here. Fourth Street coming up. Not going to help Fred at all. Fourth Street is an ace. Ace, queen, three, queen. Now Richard going back down looking at it. He can't believe what he's seeing here. 40. Fred, you don't have to bet. Queen. Well, he is betting. He's betting 40,000. 40, What's Richard going to do with the three queens this time around? Richard calls. He's just calling here, One Vince. Call. Okay, well, he's going to slow play this a little bit. Very interesting. Last card coming up. Oh, and the nine makes a full house, of course, for Richard. Even more disastrous for Fred. Fred's first. Fred had to catch a 10 to win this pot. He didn't do it. And right now, he's got a headache. Oh, check. He checks. Well, he's checking. How much do you have? Whatever you have. He's putting you all in. Whatever it is. That's fine. Karn has moved all in here. Now, Richard's betting all in. Now, Fred doesn't have much money left here, Vince. No, he doesn't. You know, he's only got about 30000 or so left here. This could be the demise of Fred right now. I got to bet he's got a flush. I'm going to drop well, look at this. He was almost half right. He knew he was beat. Well, he did make the lay down at the end, but there's so much money out there, you're a little surprised he laid it down. But it was the correct lay down here. He was beat. Well, Fred is back down to the short stack again. He's, He's going to try to fight back from scratch. I've been over, over down to three here in the Hollywood poker game. Right, Lots at stake. And this time, Rich is going to deal. So Fred's going to be all in here. That is correct. He only has about 20,000 left. Action is going to be on Richard. Richard's so picked up a jack seven of, of clubs. Oh. Looking at him, he's going to pressure the situation. He's making it 80,000. Well, what he's done is raise the pot right now. 40,000 Now, of course, Fred is in. Lolita's going to go out with a queen deuce. Well, by raising here and shutting Lolita out of this pot, Richard's going to get some change back. He's going to play heads up with Fred, see if he can knock him out. Jack seven, Jack seven of clubs Jack. versus ace oh. of diamonds. Oh! Nice hand. Nice hand. Yeah. Fred has a nice hand here. He's in the lead. He's got ace jack versus jack oh, seven of clubs. Oh, I see what we do. Let's see a flop. And the flop is The flop king is king five, five three. three. That's not going to no help No help to either player. player. Now, Richard's going to have to catch Start a seven up. or two runners to make Six. a straight. There's one of those runners. <laughs> <laughs> I need a four. I need a four. If he catches a four or a seven, now he can win. 
He's a oh, seven. no. He's done it, Vince. He's caught a seven. He has put a bad beat on Fred to knock him out of this tournament here. Oh, and Fred is obviously stunned. What a horrible last card. All right. You didn't need a four. <laughs> Good plan. As they say in the poker world, Vince, he has drowned at the river. Pass your <laughs> He's a good sport. He hugs Lolita. You know, he played pretty darn good poker today. Fred Willard does take $4,000 home for the Children's Hospital of Los Angeles. He was a lot of laughs. Some of that bus fare. If you got bus fare, he says, look, <laughs> empty pockets. I'm wiped. We are down to our final two players, Alita Davidovich and Richard Karn. And Vince, you know the custom on the World Poker Tour is we bring in the cash. Uh, we love this part, and our own Shauna Hyatt, beautiful Shauna, is going to lead the way here, Mike. Here is Shauna. Thanks, guys. Congratulations, you guys, making it this far. We're down to two, and you know what that means. Heads up. Oh, here comes the cash. It Vince. is raining cash here in Hollywood. Love. Big bucks love on the table. I love this. It makes me want to take my clothes off all this. <laughs> I got ah. two. Whoa. Ah, I got one, Mike. Yeah, ah. put a little something in there for the kids. <laughs> oh, this is exciting. We're going heads up. Lolita Davidovich against Richard Karn. Who's going to take the title? Stay tuned. We'll be right back on the World Poker Tour. Fred, you came in third. Yeah. Fred, you did great. You yeah. came in third. But you know, Richard, you, you, you could have come point. in first. You would listen to this. <laughs> Welcome back to the World Poker Tour. I'm Mike Sexton, along with Vince Van Patten. And Vince, we are down to two. These two are amazing. you got Lolita against Richard. Who's going to win it? Let's go to the table. Okay. Well, here we go, Vince. Heads up for the Hollywood home game title here. As we start heads up play, Richard Karn is our chip leader with 895,000 in chips. Lolita Davidovich is starting out with 605,000. Well, it's going to be a very interesting battle here. They both have a lot of chips to play with. The blinds are going to still be 20 and 40,000 with a 5,000 ante. Respectable. So Rich is going to deal heads up here. And Richard, your first act. Let's take a look at what he has. Well, he's got the Doyle Brunson, a 10 deuce off suit here. First act here. Does he want to call for an additional 20,000? So it's uh, 20 to me, right? It's the famous poker hand, a 10 deuce named after Doyle Brunson, who won the world championship two years in a row on it. You can make it 80 total. So, but at least 40. Yeah, double this if you want to raise it. 10, 20. Richard must think he's Doyle here because he's raising the pot with his hand. He's going to bet 80,000. Two, four, six, eight. has got king five. She's going to call it. The makings of a pot. So here we go. Up comes queen, 7-4. No help to either player. And it is on Lolita. Ray, uh, no, it's a $40 bet. 40000 is the bet. Yeah. She's going to take the play right away from Richard here by betting into this flop. D? 40. 40000 You got it. And he knocks the table and gives it up to her. That's a nice play by Lolita. That's i got to tell you the truth. When we started out play today, Lolita looked to me like she was totally lost at sea playing poker. She has improved dramatically as this evening's worn on. Right now, the price of poker has gone up again, Vince. We are playing now with a $10,000 ante. Blinds are 30 and 60,000. And right now, Richard in front with over 920,000. Decision's going to be on Richard. 30,000 to me. He's picked up a six, so that's a pretty good hand playing heads up. And how much to raise? Another 60. And he is going to raise it. Why not? He's in the powerful position of the button with a big ace. Makes now, it 120,000. Now, the lead has got a king 10 in her hand. Not a bad hand playing heads up. Now, remember, she's got 60,000 out there. Hmm. 120, huh? That's a lot. 4, 8, 12, 24. So it's going to cost her 60000 more to call, but there's 180000 sitting in the middle of the pot right now. And she is going to call, and I would call two in that spot with that much money out there. We're going to see a flop. Here it comes. 
Well, the flop is 6-5-4. That's no help for Lolita, but it gives Richard the top pair. Check. And she checks. And here he comes with another $100,000 bet. I fold. She is not going to call it, of course. Richard picks up another pot. Richard is taking control. He's got over 1.2 million in chips compared to Lolita with 280,000. Yeah, you have to be impressed with the way Richard's played virtually all night tonight. Going to be on Lolita, and look at this. She's picked up the monster, the Arnold Schwarzenegger of poker hands, pair of aces. Yeah, she's got the pocket rockets, the American Airlines, the best starting hand possible. Who is it? It's on Lolita. Now the question is, how do you want to play them? And look at this. She is so stunned. Oh, I have to decide? Yeah, it's 30 to call. It's 30 to call. 30 to call is all she says, Vince. She's just going to call it, it looks like. 32. Yes, she's not going to raise it with the two aces. She is putting the cheese in the mouse trap here. Call. And Richard at this time has a 10-5 of spades. And he checks. A flop here. So here comes a flop. First act, and the flop is? Jack, Jack six, six five. five. Now Richard's got a little piece of that. He's got the fives. Check. He checks them though. Look at Lolita. What does she do? So to keep it going. It's oh, she's putting on a little performance. Well, yeah, all trappers don't wear fur hats. Very delicately betting now. Fifty. She's going to bet 60000 And Richard, Richard biting here. He's going to quickly call it. Yep, he's calling with his fives. This could be a major turnaround for Lolita if she holds up with his hand. Fourth Street. Fourth Street pairs the sixes. Now, right now, Richard has sixes and fives. Check Lolita, six and five. aces, and sixes. Check. And Richard checks. 60. Look at her. For once tonight, she's quiet as a mouse. She's so excited. 30. She's going to bet it again. 50, 60. And again, Lolita betting just 60,000. Ever so gently. Well, there's 260,000 in the pot already, and then she bets 60,000. And now Richard is sensing something is fishy here. Well, he's got a big decision here. He's got a legitimate hand. Well, you got to like his instincts. He smells a rat here, Vince. Well, all of a sudden, she's gotten so quiet. She does not want to disturb this man. She wants to put the hook in and to grab him. Will he bite? What is he going to do? I believe you. He's going to go away. What a nice lay down right there by Richard Karn. You know, Vince, there's a saying in poker, good players set traps, great players can sense them. Richard sensed something was fishy there. He got out of the way, let Lolita have that pot, didn't lose any more money. Nice lay down right there by Richard. Don't go away. There's more heads up action right after this on the World Poker Tour. Welcome back. You're watching the Hollywood Home Game Edition of the World Poker Tour. And we have got quite a game of poker going on here. Let's go to the table. We're watching some excellent poker here in Hollywood, California. Who's going to take the title? Action's on Richard. Well, Richard's first to act. He looks down at a very Our nice hand, playing heads up an ace jack. It's 30,000 in so far. Me? No. Him. Yeah. I'll raise. Then he's going to raise it. How much? Minimum 60000 more. Makes it 120000 He's going to look at a queen six. Not a very spectacular hand. It costs her 60000 to call. Remember, there's 180000 sitting out there. Calls. So she is going to gamble here with her queen six. In this pot. So here we go. Hmm? <laughs> yes. Well, flop is ace, ace six, six four. four. Well, that's hit Richard with the aces, but it also hit Lolita with a pair of sixes. Six. 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 She's 
It's going to come out and swing away. Yep, she's going to bet 60,000 with a pair of sixes. Now Richard's got to be loving this, sitting back behind her with two aces. And he's going to make 120. He's going to raise it, makes it 120,000. And that is a massage raise. She's going to call it, Vince. Now this is going to put 500,000 in this pot right now. So huge pot developing here. It's aces for Richard and just two sixes for Lolita. Here comes 4th Street. And 4th Street is the deuce of spade, putting three spades out there. Richard also has the ace of spade, giving him an ace-high flush draw, as well as his two aces. She's it on deuce the on the turn. Check. She checks. Well, he's calling out the red right. card. Well, he's got a big pros. hand and a big draw here, but he hasn't used it yet, so he maybe just wants pros. to call the pros out in case they're falling asleep. It got too hot in here. I got to bring out the big gun. Can I go listen? I'm so excited. Go listen. Okay. I got to listen. Okay. I got to listen. And here they come. They went home. You've got me. You've got me. Oh, wait. It's not a pro. Oh. It's Lou Diamond. Thank God I got Lou. Oh, no. Ah. <laughs> the gang's all here. Oh, they're all back out. Oh, this is like the ending of Wizard of Oz or something. No choice here. The chances are you got the best hand for sure. Shove it all in. You got she's, in with no she's got no money left. She can't okay. get her if you bet it all. Just on the wall. Oh, this could be it right here. This could be it. Ganged up on. Right here. <laughs> Well, at this point, she's only got 160,000 left. There's 500,000 in the pot. How much do I have? Yeah. I'd be very surprised if he just didn't bet at least as much as she has there. All in. He's got all in. Well, there it is. He's put it all in there. So he's inviting her. Come on, let's go ahead and gamble this pot. Oh! Oh, no, the lead is realizing the well. end could be near. Wow. Well, she's going to be a little more intimidated now because the pros told him to go ahead and stick your money in the pot here. Lolita, take your time. This could be a life-changing poker moment for you. I wonder if Lolita's going to pick up on the fact that he must have a strong hand as they're all giggling and laughing and said, put your money in the pot. I mean, that would scare me out of the pot if I was her. Survey says. Can I call home? <laughs> <laughs> she wants to dial out for some help. A lifeline. Pull the audience. <laughs> I fold. This and is she a good folds. lay down. Good it's for a her. Very good lay down. You are right, Vince. Good instincts, Lolita. I actually think Richard made a mistake calling the help yeah, out there. I think it scared her off of calling that pot. She might have called had he not called for the red card. He had you. Lolita Davidovich is crippled. She has one hand on the rope now. She's got 160,000 compared to Richard Carn with a 1.3 million. Lolita hanging in there. Can yeah. she survive? Actions on Lolita. Stop looking at my cards. I tell you one thing, she's a good sport. She's still laughing, having a good time, and she looks at a king three this time. Now you would think with the amount of chips she had left, you might just go ahead and just stick them all in there with king high. I check. That's thirty thousand. Thirty thousand more to call. Oh. Do I have that much? Well, she said she checks, but she has to call at least 30,000 more. She has to match the size of the big blind. Well, she's getting a little punchy at this point. 20, 30. No. Now she's going to call it with a king three. Yes, she is. Let's take a look at what Richard has. He has a six-deuce offsuit, a very poor hand. Let's play. He said, let's play. Against the professionals... Oh. Here we go with the flop. Now remember, Lolita only has 90,000 left here, Vince. Oh, but now she's hit. She's got a pair of kings. And yeah. you know what? Richard also got a little piece of it. He's got the sixes. Yes, he does. So it's top pair versus bottom pair here. How much? 40? And lucky for Lolita, she has the top pair with the two kings. And she's got Richard betting right into her. 60. 60,000. I can't imagine you're just not going to put her last 90,000 in here. <laughs> I don't even have that much. 60,000 to call. What happens if, if he bets more than I have? Then you go all in. I go all in, and that's the last hand yeah, for me. Just eight. Mm -hmm. Oh, you are just whipping my ass. Okay. okay. Uh oh, having a little Tourette's attack. 
she actually does. I mean, I would be thrilled to get my money in there with the top pair right now with two kings, but she's just called the 60000 She has 30000 left is all. Um, Fourth Street coming up. And it is a eight of hearts. Well, an eight comes off. Helping neither player, but Lolita's in front with the kings. Will Richard once again bet with his sixes? Well, you might as well put the last 30000 in there and set her all in. I would if I was him, and he's going to do the same thing. Especially with all the hesitation the leader took last time. 30. Richard's going to put her all in. Here she goes. Do it, girl. Yes. Gonna see these hands. He's got two sixes. Two kings. She's got two kings. Kings are in the lead here. What were you thinking? <laughs> he said, what are you thinking about here? <laughs> Richard needs a six or a two. I mean, he thought the sixes were good all that time she took. Well, this could be elimination if he happens to hit. It's a seven. He doesn't do it. No, she survives. So she is doubled up. And we continue. Everybody claps for her. She is back in the hunt. Richard and Lolita. Special kind of poker story. The pros, the celebrities, they retire back to the players' lounge, Vince. The battle continues here between Lolita and Richard. Blinds and antis have gone up again. It's now $10,000 ante. Blinds are 50 and 100,000. We have got it out of the mud now, Vince. And we're going to take a look at Richard's cards. Now he's got an 8-4 of spades. I remember Lolita had less than 200000 to start this pot. She put 100000 in the blind already. Richard with just an 8-4 of spade here. He's just going to try to end it right here anyway. Richard's raising. He is going to raise it. So that's everything I have, right? Well, she's only got 80000 in chips left. Mm. But on the other hand, she's looking at a six-deuce offsuit, about the baddest hand as you can have, Vince. Oh, that is a miserable little hand. Mm. I have to fold. And no. she's not going to call. Nope, she has to fold her hand and wait for the next hand. Oh, is this my last one? And this will be her last go-around if she doesn't win this pot right here. Well, we're going to see what happens in a lot of home games. We're going to play a hand of showdown poker here. There will be no betting because they're all in in the blind. What? Why don't we play up? Oh, yeah, we oh, should. Turn they're turning it up. And look at this. Oh. The leader's got ace-five, ace five, but she's up against ace-queen. Yep, she's in big trouble here. It's nice and slow here. And there's the flop. Well, a queen flop. hits. Queen, ten, five. five. But the leader's got a five. five. Yes, she does. Here comes fourth street. She's looking for a five, or she'll be out. It's a king. A king comes off. What that means is if a jack she comes off at here. the end, they will split the pot. Over. She's going to need a five to win it. Otherwise, Richard will be our champion. Can you do it, Lolita? Cash card coming up. And it's a seven. Nope, she doesn't do oh, it. Lolita. It is over. Oh. Richard Korn is our Hollywood home game champion. You were so good, though. You were so good. I'm in. <laughs> nice hand, one. They went home. You've got me. You've got me. <laughs> Isn't that bus fare? <laughs> <laughs> I'm wife. I love this game. We certainly want to thank all our celebrities for participating in this edition of our Hollywood Home Game. Congratulations to our Hollywood Home Game champion, Richard Carn. There you go. Thank you. Thank you very much. For Shona Hyatt, Vince Van Patten, I'm Mike Sexton, saying thanks for joining us. And until next time, may all your cards be live and your pots be monsters. You're here. Here we go, here we go, Mike. Here, try some of this. Bang, bang. Oh! Put that in your pipe and smoke it. The real beauty of the World Poker Tour. You play until you go broke. All in. He says I'm all in. Well, you're right, well, you're right, Mike. Well, you're right, well, you're right, Mike. Whoa! He's all in. Can you believe this? Unbelievable, unbelievable. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wow. Oh! Gone. Out of here. Out of here. Out of here. Out of here. Bang. Gone. Well, you're right, Mike. That's got to spin. Absolutely. She's all in. All in. Oh, yeah. He's got to love that. Got to love, got to love, got to love that. Well, he says you may have wrote the book and you may be the godfather, but here. Try some of this. Bang. Oh. Oh, yeah.
Yeah. Gotta love that. Show tunes going off in your head. Going off in your head. Gotta love that. Whoa! We look forward to seeing you next season on the World Poker Tour. Oh no, I wasn't ready. Oh, an eight on the flop. Nick the kid with a set of eight. Om lidt kan du se Ultimate Poker Challenge. 